Hey guys, it's Midnight Owl, and today I just want to show you some of the things that I got for Christmas. I hope all of you had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate, or if you don't celebrate. And um, yeah, I had a good time. It was just really tiring, busy. I had to do a lot of cooking, and then on top of it, I got really sick. I have like a sinus cold, so I was just kind of dragging ass for... Christmas Eve and for Christmas Day, but I did have fun. I enjoyed eating all the food. We usually do, because we're Italian, we do this, it's called like the Feast of the Seven Fishes on Christmas Eve. So we did that at my uncle's house and all the family was over there. And then Christmas Day, we just um, went to John's parents' house and just had some traditional like pasta, Italian pasta, meatballs and things like that. But I got a few cool things for Christmas that I wanted to share with you guys, so let's look. So first off, I just wanted to show you this. It is one of those jellyfish thingamajiggies in a glass can jar? Can not jar. I don't even know what you call it. It's like just surrounded in glass. I don't know if you can see that good. I don't know if the ring light is making it look weird. Let's see if I can bring it closer. You can see that and I really have always just wanted one and I kind of hinted around to John and then he finally got one for me so yeah I think it's just kind of like a paperweight or a decoration just to put up on a shelf or something like that next two things are themed the same they are the Haunted Mansion which you guys know that I love uh, the Haunted Mansion is an attraction at Disney World and Disneyland and this is the Haunted Mansion Imagineering, a Disney classic. It's just a book. And I think it just tells about all the, uh, it's like all the background stories. Because there's all these characters inside the Haunted Mansion. Uh, like, you know, like the paintings and things like that. And the different things you come by while you go through the ride. So... I just thought it was kind of cool. John got this for me, you know, because I, I told him, like, anything Haunted Mansion, you know, I'll like. So I'm looking forward to flipping through that and checking that out. The next thing is another Haunted Mansion thing, and it is the Game of Life. And there you go. Um... I don't remember how to play life. Do you guys remember how to play? I just remember you had like the little car that went around the board and you had those little pegs you stuck in there. So this is just life, but it's themed like the Haunted Mansion. So I'm looking forward to playing that. I like board games. I have like a whole closet full and it's just something different besides, you know, watching TV or watching a movie or something. The next thing I got is the Super Mario Odyssey game for the Wii Switch. I don't know if you guys are into Nintendo. Actually, it's called the Nintendo Switch. I'm sorry. I'm used to, like, Nintendo has the Wii and the Wii U, which I have. It's their different consoles. And then they came out with the Switch. And this is a game for it. They're like these little tiny chips now. It's like not even, like, the big games that you used to put in there are, like, discs or anything. Like, big CD-type discs. It's just a uh, small little chip. And... I don't know, I heard good reviews about this, so I figured I'd put this on my Christmas list, and I got it. And, uh, yeah, let me know if any of you guys play um, Nintendo Switch, and if you have this game, and if you enjoy it. Next we have uh, the band Kix, and it's their latest album. It's called Rock Your Face Off, and Kix is an 80s metal hair band, I guess you could say, and... They actually came out with an album not too long ago. I think it was like maybe a couple of years ago, and I didn't have it. But I, when I saw them perform, I heard a few of the new songs that they had put out for this album. And it, they were actually really good. You know how like a lot of bands that have a certain sound, they try to change with the times, which I understand. And it just is not, it just doesn't sound good. Like I know they try to like, you know, stay with the, the times, like I said, but... They just should just stick with what they normally do, their old school style, because that's what people like. So Kix definitely has done this with this album. Like I said, I heard a few songs that they have performed, and I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of the songs on here. 
So for all you 80s hair metal hair band fans out there. I also got this cute owl mug. It's like a black and white owl. It kind of looks like a skunk, don't you think? I don't know. I think just because of the black and white, it reminds me of a skunk, but it's a pretty big sized mug. So it'll be awesome to drink my tea out of this. I got a purple sort of, it's just like a light, I think it's like a rain type of jacket. Cause you guys know purple's my favorite color. It's just plain, nothing fancy, just something to wear out in the crappy weather. The next two things are jewelry. I got two pairs of earrings. And these are purple and they have, they're just, they look like stones, like actual sort of like rocks. I don't know if you can see that, if it's too dark, sorry. Those are really pretty. I actually have a ring that's very similar to this that'll, that they'll match. The next pair of earrings, these are really cool. They kind of look like mystical. I don't know, I think it's just the, the blue stones that are inside them. The next few things I actually bought for myself because I knew I was going to be getting money and I saw a sale going on, so I was like, I have to get this stuff. So they are from the company Rogue and Wolf. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of them. I follow them on Instagram and I know I've seen a couple other YouTubers who have purchased some of their items. And the first thing I got was this bracelet or cuff, whatever you want to call it, and it has a moon design on it, I guess you could say. I really like it. I think I got this in the small, no, is it extra? I think they only had like extra small and small or something like that. And I was nervous this was gonna be too small, but it's not. It actually fits me pretty well. And the material of it is not what I expected. It's weird. It's like almost feels, it's like textured, almost like a foam type feeling to it. I don't know. I don't, I like it, but I feel like it could break like easily if it got caught or something, like it would snap. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but. So the next thing I got from them was one, of, I think they're called midi rings or mid rings or something that go on the middle of your, finger as opposed to like all the way down and I got this one and I don't know I think I just guessed on the size of it sorry if you can see that there you go and it actually fits me pretty well on that finger and they have like all different types of designs and I think like symbols and things like that but these are just the ones that I like the most I actually liked one that was like a spider web type of cuff, I think, and then they had a spider web type of ring, but I already have something similar to that, so I didn't want to buy it. And then this one I haven't worn yet. The rune, this one's called the rune ring. So like I said, the other ones have names too, but I don't have, I took them out of the bag. And that's what that one looks like. I mean, they're really neat looking. They're very unique. I like how they're black. They're, they are very comfortable. But like I said, I just, the material, I feel like it, it, it could break or snap very easily. But they weren't, they were, for being on sale, they were pretty inexpensive. So I'm pretty pleased with them. So I think that's it for the items that I got for Christmas. Uh, besides like money and a couple other like bath products, I think, that are, aren't too impressive to show you, but I'm just going to show you a couple things that I purchased for my husband because I thought they were really cool and I, I don't know, want to share them with you. So I found this little book, it's uh, Princess Bride, it's talking book. We haven't opened it yet, but I, it just like, it says uh, different quotes from the movie. I'm like, I think like, you know, I got it, it's like inconceivable or as you wish, things like that. So I thought that was kind of cute because he likes that movie a lot. And then I bought him the Murder on the Orient Express, Express book. 
And it has a couple of the other Agatha Christie Poirot stories added to it also. I've never read the book and neither has he. And we've seen different versions of the movie and I thought it would just be something nice that we could probably read together. The other two stories on here are The Murder of Roger Ackroyd and Curtin Poirot's Last Case, which is the last uh, story in the series. So, and I got this at Barnes & Noble too. I hate the glare from the ring light. And I love the new, these new covers of the books that they do. They have them like for a bunch of different stories and they're just really neat looking. So going along with the Poirot theme, I got him this, I think they're called Russian hot tea glasses. And Hercule Poirot is always drinking out of one of these and we are all, we're always admiring it. And we're like, oh, we want one of those, they're so cool. So it's just got this metal piece down below and the glass comes out and you can drink hot tea out of it or just any beverage i'm sure if you wanted to so i thought that was pretty cute and the last thing i wanted to show you guys that i got him was this and if you don't know what it is it's marty moose he is from national lampoon's christmas vacation it's the glass set that they have on the table that they're drinking like clark and uh, Eddie, cousin Eddie, are drinking out of, and they have, they drink their eggnog out of it. Can you? <laughs> My baby's screaming, and I just thought it was so cute. I saw this and I was like, yeah. I'm like, I know he'll love that. So, if you guys know the movie, then you'll know what this is. So that's all I have to show you guys for today. It wasn't too much stuff. Mostly we were just focused on our son Valerius and getting things for him and not so much things for one another. But I did really enjoy and appreciate the things that I did get. Let me know some of the cool items that you guys may have got for this past holiday, whether it was Christmas or Hanukkah, or if you just went out and bought something for yourself. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate having you guys here. And until next time, stay dark, my friends. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Can you show us your new jumper you got? Are you having a good time in there? Yes. Jump. Can you show us how you jump? Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump.